Hey guys, good morning. So today I'm going to uh, make a vlog uh, about what I eat in a day. Kagigising. Actually, kanina pa ako gising. So mga two and a half hours na ako dito sa kama. Um, day off ko ngayon and I don't like or I don't feel like going up early. Uh, I'm still thinking if I'm going to be an IF or breakfast ako pero keto or low carb. So, since day off ko ngayon, marami akong gagawin. Like, I'm gonna clean the house and then wash clothes. So, yun. It's my normal routine. Um, hopefully, makalabas pero parang bukas na lang. Bahala na. Okay, so tara, samahan nyo ako sa isang araw ng aking pagluluto. Alright, thank you. Okay, hey guys, so I'm back. I'm actually preparing my breakfast for today. Uh, so we're going to make tuna omelet. And here are the ingredients. We have two eggs and we have onion, salt, pepper. And of course, I have uh, tuna, kind of tuna. This is a small one. It's just for myself. Uh, this one, ito yung recommended ko na brand. Golden Seas Herb. It's <laughs> shook. Herbs and garlic. So, yan. Masarap yan. Okay, so, come on. Join me and uh, um, pagluto na tayo. Okay, first, um, dalita na yung oil tsaka yung onion. And then, ito, binit ko na yung egg with salt and pepper. Alright, so, yan. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the tuna. kaya tayo ngayon, kaya dapat ito lang ang kakainan natin for today. Walang bread at walang rice. Okay. Then, we're gonna add this. Okay. So, bad. Okay. Okay. So, natin siya. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna wait for maybe uh, a minute. Let's probably get in for sure. Yeah, the dog. Wow. Omelet, there you go. So, nilagyan ko siya ng cheese. And then we're gonna make our coffee. So, this one is one teaspoon of coffee grounds, and I have one teaspoon of butter. And then a stick of equal gold and uh, maybe a teaspoon of uh, cream and of course hot water. So let's get started. Ito yung parang bulletproof coffee na ginagawa ko. So just need to add them all. Yan, mga one and a half teaspoon is good. Then, equal. Okay, so nilagay ko na yung um, butter, 1 teaspoon, and then 1 and a half teaspoon of cream. And of course, we have the hot water. So that's how I make my coffee. Oh, creamy. So it should be creamy. In that, dagdagan pa ng konti. Oh my god. Alright, so that's around 2 teaspoon. Okay, so this is gonna be for my breakfast. So, yan. Yan ang breakfast ko, ba? Wow. Uh, masarap kaya minsan mag-diet. Pag magagat yung food mo. <laughs> Kailangan lang disiplina at sipag na mag-prepare ng food. Okay? So, later, I'm gonna cook lunch. And today, uh, magluluto tayo ng favorite kong shrimp. So, we're gonna call this butter garlic 
shrimp Korean style. Okay, so here are the ingredients for today. We have butter. Okay, butter and then um, of course with butter we're gonna add some sesame oil. And we have garlic and shrimp, one fourth, 250 grams. So brown sugar is supposed to be and then we have a little ketchup, maybe uh, one tablespoon and of course oyster sauce. So depend sa pang lasa nyo. And this is the secret. So we're gonna use this hot pepper paste fermented. Yan ang magpapa serap ng aking shrimp for today. Uh, this is not the usual shrimp that I cook pag may bisita ko, but I just learned it yesterday from no one. It's just me. So tara, at tasarapan naman ako, nasarapan naman yung tomikem ng luto ko kahapon. That's why I'm here and I'd like to try it again and do a vlog on it. Okay, so guys, let's go and start cooking. I'm gonna start cooking na. Um, ito yung ating buttered shrimp Korean style. Nilagay ko na yung uh, butter and uh, I think you need, we need more butter. Konting oil. Uh, lagyan ko rin siya ng sesame oil. So, most Korean uses sesame oil. Okay. And then, we're gonna put or add the garlic. So, there. Garlic. Mabango na siya. So, yan. Garlic. And then, let's do natin. A little while. So, halos lahat ng friends ko favorite nila yung shrimp. So, kaming lahat. Best seller ko yan. And of course, we're gonna add the shrimp. Ooh, yummy! Diba? Napakadali. Ito yung actually yung pag pinaluto mo sa akin, hindi kita tatanggihang lutuan. Basta magdala ka. So easy to cook. Unlike yung <laughs> ibang mga niluluto. Ang ako, napaka-time consuming. Ito talaga sobrang bilis lang. So, so, um, it's so quick and it's so easy and very delicious. So, yeah. So, gusto ko magpasikat ito yung lulutuin ko. Diba? So, guys, kung kayo may mga jawa kayo at gusto nyo medyo magpasikat, luto kayo nito. But, sad to say, husband, may allergy siya sa shrimp and crab, so he doesn't eat this. Uh, pero, yung ibang luto ko, gusto naman niya so far. <laughs> so, babalik ko rin natin siya. Mabilis maluto ang shrimp. Tsaka, hindi niya siya dapat in-overcook. Yan. Diba? So good. Anak ko, hindi rin kumakain ito. Parang nagmana sa tatay. Mayroon siyang slight allergy. So, dalawa lang kami kakain ito. Kamakin po. Sini niya. Okay, so we're gonna add the uh, oyster sauce. So, oyster sauce. Wait lang. Pagdagan ko pa yung oyster. And, uh, we're gonna add ketchup. Oops. Nangyari. Of course. Okay, so I don't know what happened. Pero nilagay ko na yung mga ingredients. Um, nilagay ko na yung salt, pepper, and of course, nilagyan ko na siya ng oyster sauce. And of course, the shrimp is already there. Um, a tablespoon of water para medyo saucy siya. And nilagay ko na yung Korean hot pepper paste. So, kung sa Philippines, meron tayong patis or baguong sila. Ito yung kanilang stable. Yan. And, of course, we're gonna add a little sugar. One teaspoon of sugar. Hold on. Okay, so, nandiyan yung sugar. Nilagay ko na. And, I'm about to eat na. So hungry. Again, I'm hungry. 
So, kanina ang niluto ko, cauliflower rice and omelet. Doon na omelet for my breakfast. So, there. Well, diba? Looks good. Sarap. Yun, ano? Okay, ipre-prepare ko na siya. So, wait lang. So, there you go. At luto na ang ating garlic shrimp Korean style. So, I hope you guys like it and please try it at home. I'm sure magugustuhan po ng jowa nyo or ng mga kapamilya nyo at mga kaibigan nyo. This is our dinner. I didn't... Hindi ko na how to cook giniling. It's very simple.